Gastrodon is better than you think. Today we're going to be building the mystical sea slug itself, Gastrodon. And with the Greninja coming out soon, this Pokemon will probably be a massive help when it does come out. And if you need to make slight adjustments at the time, you can. Always sleeping on the job. So, first off, where do you get Gastrodon? Now we will be getting the blue Gastrodon because it just looks better. I will fight anyone in the comments about it. And you're going to want to fly over to East Province Area 1 Watchtower. Once you're here, just run in this direction until you get to the edge of the cliff. Once you're on the edge of the cliff, wee. Uh, just keep jumping down until you reach the beach and one should spawn almost straight away and one has spawned little gastrodon jr he won't look at me for some reason and then you just want to encounter him and catch him now when you catch your shellos make sure it has storm drain or you will need to use an ability capsule damn poor guy he washed up on shore now me and my sea slug are going elsewhere now unfortunately when you catch your shellos you will need 50 ground terror shards so you can change its terror type to ground once you get your 50 terra shards i want you to fly over here to medali east once you get here just go around this corner and go in this restaurant right here once you're in the restaurant you just want to go all the way to the top and speak to this chef behind the counter and he will grant you any terra type you want as long as you bring in 50 terra shards now our item is going to be metronome basically what it does if you attack once your move does 100 percent damage right if you use it again it does 120 percent damage if you do it in succession and then 140 160 180 and 200 to get this item i want you to fly over to lavincia north once you're here you just want to go across here to the deli bird shop uh, click on battle items scroll down a little bit go to metronome it'll cost you 15,000 poker dollars now if you want a lot more survivability rate you can run shell bell every time you deal damage you'll get hp back or you could even run a life orb if you just want flat out damage from the get-go if you do want the life orb you will fly over to Mesa Goza and it will be in the deli bird shop there which is right at the bottom here now move sets we are going with earth power chilling water amnesia and recover earth power will be our main damaging move it's very strong and it has a chance to reduce their special defense chilling water will be just like a move to reduce their attack because our defense is lower than our special defense by quite a bit so that's to even that out and lower their attack so they're doing no damage amnesia if they're a special attacker we'll use that and uh, get our special defense up by loads they'll do no damage cover if we need health it's there our ability should be storm drain if you caught the right shellos our evs are going into special attack and hp and nature is going to be modest which is up in special attack down in attack i will show you where to change your nature right now if you go over to meta goes a west once you're here you just go through this archway right here keep going forward turn slightly right you'll see a black and green shop going inside that it's the chansey shop so it's got a chansey on the front in this shop they sell every single mint for 20,000. you just want to buy the modest one which is light blue i would recommend getting max ivies as well to get these you want to fly over to montenever once you're here you see that a bomb of snow in the background there well that's where we're going to be going we're going to be speaking to this guy in the little coat and you can max their ivs uh, you want to do hp defense special attack special defense and speed you don't really need speed i just like having five out of six and then leaving the sixth one blank because we don't need it at all i don't think gastrodon's outspeeding anything anytime soon now if you don't know where to get bottle caps to increase your ivs go to any deli bird shop you can find click on general goods it will be there at the top for twenty thousand each so it'll be a hundred thousand to max out each pokemon not including their attack or special attack whichever one's their weakest now let's find some five star raids we have found our first victim let's get straight into it this actually works great because Tatsugiri is a water type so we're gonna start off with amnesia because it's a special attacker we're just gonna start using earth power now that's the second earth power that's the third earth power so it took away our terror so we're gonna have to use another one and now that we can terrestrialize we're gonna go ahead and do that from sea slug to earth slug let's see how much damage we can do wow it did a lot of damage considering he had his shield up next hit will probably kill then it does wow didn't expect gastron to do that much damage it was stat with a metronome but still that Tatsugiri down and gastron on wins his first raid we found our second raid which is the tyranitar now because tyranitar is a physical attacker we're going to start off with chilling water this will lower his attack by one stage he is trying to use screech which is quite dangerous we're going to use another chilling water okay he's not continuing to use screech that's good so now he's on minus two attack we're just going to go straight in with the earth power but if you're against a physical attacker it will be two chilling waters and then using your earth power 
If you're against a special attacker, it will be one amnesia and then earth power. He's just removed all negative effects from himself and then used screech. So we're going to be taking some heavy damage now. Never mind, he used dark pulse. He stole some of our terror. So after this attack, we should be okay to terror. And now he's using dragon dance. He will be faster than me now, but he can't one hit. So we're going to terror anyway because we have a 40% boost from our metronome. So we use earth power, how much damage do we do? Not too much. So we're gonna heal up now, and then we're going to use recover, so we're back on full health. Now he's doing a lot of damage, but because we use recover, we're fine, we can just use earth power. We do about half of his shield, we just need to get that shield off. And then if we die, it doesn't matter too much. He's using screech again. So I think he kills us if he attacks now, so we need to do some good damage here, and we finish him off with an earth power. With all his setup moves, and removing negative effects from himself that was a bit shaky at one point but we won quite comfortably on to the third raid we found our third and final raid it is a crooky dilie let's get straight into it so first turn chilling water to reduce his attack by one stage he's using counter chilling water again so he's on minus two attack so we use earth power it does a decent amount of damage now we're going to terrestrialize and use earth power this should do a ton of damage i'm hoping it takes off around half of his current health so we use earth power Oh, it didn't do as much as I thought it would, but it still did a lot of damage. So the shield goes up. He removes all negative effects, but that doesn't matter at this point. We use Earth Power, nearly take his shield off. He uses Home Claws. Bit late though, we've already won. So this Earth Power will take off his shield and do a decent amount of damage. And finish him off. Gastrodon's a complete animal. I can't wait for the 7 Star Greninja. We still had over half the time remaining, and Gastrodon takes out the third raid. Oh, we got two Herbal Mysticas as well. Lovely. Smash that like button if you found this video helpful. Subscribe if you want more Pokemon raid builds and for the sea slug click on screen right now if you want to see the best clods I build for raids and I'll catch you on the next one